here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Um, I just want to quickly shout out my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and if you are thinking of potentially subscribing to me and if my reading resonates with you, I encourage you to like and subscribe. So um, all of you, please click the like button. I'd like to see some likes, please, please support, support, support. I appreciate you, I appreciate you. So with that being said, I'm gonna jump right in. Today's um, spread or reading is about what's going on behind the scenes for the Divine Masculine. So these are uh, messages that Spirit wants Divine Masculine to know at this point in time in their life. This is a past, present, and future spread. So it's recent past, presently, and near future. So with that being said, I'm gonna jump right in. So I've already shuffled and drawn the cards. First card is Door to Romance. Second card is the Temple Path. And the third card is Storm Warning. Oh boy, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, my Divine Masculines? Okay, so clarifying cards drawn for Door to Romance is Second Chakra, Archangel Ariel. Contract. And woman holding a coin in reverse. Oh, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Um, clarifying cards for Temple Path is the Garden and the Gate. First Chakra, Archangel Michael in reverse. Okay. And door to personal healing and happiness in reverse. Okay. Hmm. Storm warning. We have clarifying cards. The woman holding a heart. Door to value. And anxiety in reverse. Okay, so let's jump right in. Let's see what we have going on behind the scenes for the divine masculine. Okay, so this talks about um, in the recent past, divine masculine... Um, was in a relationship with someone, uh, this could be a karmic or, or their ex now because it's in the past, uh, they left someone, I'm hearing karmic, I'm feeling karmic. <laughs> so the divine masculine left the karmic because they realized that she was toxic or he, the, the person was toxic. Yeah. Uh, karmic was using divine masculine for money, so... Um, this person was just spend, spend their money. They didn't care how it came or how it went. They just spent the money. They didn't care. Yeah. So divine masculine ended this relationship. Also, this this um this person was manipulating divine masculine. So using things like oh you need to stay with me because we have a kid or. We have a house together or something. They were using something to bind the contract together or holding it over their head. But it didn't work because Divine Masculine left. Divine Masculine also uh, in the recent past was working on their um, sacral chakra. So their second chakra. So this chakra talks about um, creativity. It talks about uh, intimacy, sexuality. Uh, dealing with these issues. So I'm hearing um, Divine Masculine was healing issues of um, hmm, inner child issues to do with um, sexuality, intimacy. Divine Masculine is also starting to tap into their natural creativity. They're starting to um, learn how to express themselves. And this is because Divine Feminine is doing this. Divine Feminine is doing her healing. So Divine Masculine is doing his healing. But Divine Masculine less the toxic-ass karmic because... They were just about done with the shit. 
they're just about done if you listen to my last behind the scene divine masculine reading uh, I will put that link in this video but uh, it talks about um, the divine masculine not being happy with the karmic and getting ready to leave and now this spread talks about the divine masculine actually leaving so the divine masculine said I'm done with this fuck this shit I don't want you you don't have any you don't have my best interest at heart and it, the this is woman holding a coin in reverse right so the karmic was just on some I'm gonna spend your money <laughs> right I'm gonna do what's good for me and I'm gonna do it at your expense that's what was going on in this relationship here and divine masculine close this door okay so now that um, divine masculine has left left the karmic they are worried you're worried about finances divine masculine is worried about finances worried about the fact that he doesn't really have a plan of action on how he is going to start over with that but you see the garden and the gate He wants to go towards um, his happiness. He wants to go to go towards his abundance. He just he feels stuck. You know, he's he's worried about his finances because the karmic took his ass for a ride, right? So he's probably worried about how he's gonna create the things that he wants to create. He wants to go towards his divine feminine, but he's worried that he doesn't have anything to offer. He's worried he doesn't have anything to offer his divine feminine. But he is being guided. He's being divinely guided right now. Temple path. Towards his mission. Towards his purpose. Um, he has a lot of angels and spirit guides around him right now. Encouraging him. And leading him in the right direction. Right now he is... He's realizing that everything happens for a reason. And the relationship with the karmic was to teach him some lessons. Oh, yes. It was to teach him some lessons. Ah, about not judging a book by its cover. Yes, and going deeper. It's, it's also Divine Masculine learned a lesson about... Um, it's not just about, life is not just about material things. There's many layers to life and there's more to life. Because if you see here, he's looking, he's looking for his true happiness. He wants to go towards his true happiness. He just feels stuck right now. But he has the key to his true happiness. And he's being led and guided towards that. He wants to go towards his divine feminine. Yeah. I, I'm seeing someone like sitting at a desk, looking out the window, like longing for someone, you know, the pull, they're feeling the pull, they're feeling the pull, but they feel stuck and it's, it's in their head because they're worried. Oh, I don't have anything to offer her. I don't have anything to offer this person. What if they don't take me? It's kind of in this back and forth of. Well, the karmic was just about money, so I can't go to the Divine Feminine with my empty hands because what if she doesn't take me? What if that person doesn't take me? But uh, he's being led, Divine Masculine is being led toward, towards his happiness. He's being led towards his truth, yes. That everything is not, um, it's not just about material things. He's coming, he's, he's waking up. He's waking up. He's waking up now to um, the deeper levels of life, uh, to the other more important aspects of life, to the value of good relationships. And that's what he wants to move towards. He wants to go move towards a good relationships. He wants to move towards someone who genuinely loves him for who he is, not someone who's using him for money. Or for whatever they can get or for their own best interests and he's being guided he's being guided away from the past yes and he's protected 
he has some healing to do. He has to work on his first chakra, his root chakra. He needs to heal that so that he can feel more stable and secure in himself. Because this karmic took his ass for a ride. She really dealt him. She, she dealt him some shit, man. Yeah, she really dealt with his ass. So now he's kind of like licking his wounds, healing, thinking about the possibilities of what it, what is, what could be if he just said fuck it and decided to just go towards his divine feminine because that's where he really wants to be. That's where he really wants to be. In the near future though, there is a storm warning. <laughs> And this is because as Divine Masculine moves towards his Divine Feminine, because that's where he realizes his true abundance lies, abundance in all areas of his life. As he drops the anxiety of worrying about, well, what if I don't have anything to give her? What if I don't have anything to bring to this person? Are they going to want me? He's going to drop that and move towards his happiness. But this karmic right here is not going down without a fight. Oh, no. She's coming with some thunder and lightning. But if you see in this picture here, there's only one pillar that fell down. The rest of them are still standing strong throughout the storm. Right? And the storm is passing. So she's going to try. She's going to try to fuck with Divine Masculine shit. She's going to try to fuck with him. But it's not going to work because the Divine Masculine, this is a divine union. This is the divine, divinely guided connection so it's protected divine masculine uh, is going towards who he's supposed to be with the karmic though she not she doesn't like that this person does not like that and yeah she's gonna try to start some shit right because she feels slighted she feels like oh she won how could you leave me for her how, how could you leave me for that person right so she's gonna try now, this could be um, taking, if, if you were married, taking you to court and trying to clean your ass out even more than they already did. Um, doing things like trying to get full custody of children or turning children against you. Um, trying to start some shit with the divine feminine. Just trying to get all up in your relationship and trying to cause problems. Yeah. So you've been warned, Divine Masculine, prepare, prepare for the shit storm because it's coming. But you, you are protected. You are protected. You were divinely guided away from this relationship in the past because you are supposed to be with your Divine Feminine, right? So um, Spirit's not going to guide you away from something to bring you into something else that's bad. This is divinely orchestrated this is um a divine connection right so no one can they could try but it's just going to make the connection stronger right it's just going to make the connection stronger because this is where um divine masculine's true value is within this relationship this relationship is a relationship of true value value in all areas all on all levels in all aspects right Divine Masculine was being guided towards those things, right? And it was after he dropped his anxiety, after he dropped his worry of, oh, can I come there with nothing? What if she doesn't take me? He realizes that this is where his true happiness is and the doors begin to open up for him. But there is, there is going to be some problems, right? There's going to be some problems. The karmic is going to try to come with some shit. But it's not going to work. But they're going to try. <laughs> yeah. So be prepared, Divine Masculine. You have been forewarned. You've been warned. Okay. So I think that one's pretty cut and dry. That's pretty cut and dry. So this is my Divine Masculine behind the scenes reading. Thank you so much for taking this in. I will see you, you. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, and night. And I will see you on the flip side. I'll see you at the next reading. Thank you for checking out my reading. Thank you for checking out my channel. You are appreciated. Take care. Bye.